What is noise? Noise is actually a sound that, that is loud, especially unpleasant. Uh, the reason why you are not focused, the reason why it's like your goal is not materializing is because there's too much noise in your life. And somebody might ask, a man of God, a prophet, pastor, wherever you want to call me, you might be like, what is this noise you are talking about? Okay, now we understand that a uh, noise means a sound that is unpleasant you get me so listen to me by the spirit of god uh, this noise can be uh, your sign and this noise can be friends this noise can be situation the reason why the devil attacks you is to frustrate you um, frustrate your call are you listening to me? Because he knows if he sends distraction, you won't be able to locate and walk on the path that is designed for you. Some of you, the reason why you've been delayed for too long is like that marriage is not is not is not coming to reality, it's not coming to fruition. It's like anything you do, it's not working. It's because you've been attacked by several noises. You listen to me, but tonight those noises are about to be silenced. When noise in your life that serves as distraction are being silenced, all of a sudden you see, you get clarity, you are focused. Some of you all, even after tonight's meeting, the wrong friends are going to leave you. Are you listening? The wrong deeds you've entered that is becoming a distraction or noise will be silenced and be eradicated completely. The day King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the glory of God. King Uzziah was the noise in the life of Isaiah. Are you listening to me? So there are certain noise that needs to be silenced, eradicated completely for you to see God's glory in your life. Is somebody ready? If you really is somebody appreciating what we're teaching tonight we are going deep tonight i tell you auntie if you are here you've not shared that is not good you want to be a blessing to your brother i want you to share to every platform share on your page let it be written that yes because i shared on my page those friends that are following me got delivered i've seen it time after time after time because of one share from you, families were being delivered. Ah, are you guys truly ready for what is about to hit you tonight? Listen to me, listen to me. There are certain noises that needs to be silenced. I got to find out about this very delicate story. If you're ready for what I'm about to do, this is going to help somebody. You know, she got married, she got into the wrong relationship. I, I'm sharing this story. This is, this is true life story. This is real. You know, she's my friend, so that's how I know. She got into the wrong relationship. And this person is a minister. She was there for almost, let's say, I don't know if it was uh, more than a decade, right? They gave birth to a son and the son is still healthy and alive right now. You know what, up? It got to a point whereby the man became a noise. I'm talking a minister. I told you guys something. Listen to me and capture me by the Spirit of God. The, uh, is it Lucifer? The devil is not, he's not worried, he's not scared about your anointing. He's not scared. You can be pastor, prophet, whatever it is, anointed. You see, the Bible said Lucifer, he said Lucifer, the anointed cherub. He's anointed. So don't think your anointing scares him. Do you know, that some people think uh, the moment a man is anointed, the character is fixed. It's a lie. The anointing is different from your character. That is why, you know, I, I just I just laugh at people that pray for the anointing. If your character is flawed, when the anointing comes, it only amplifies what is there. The anointing is like money. Money amplifies the true character of a person. So the anointing does. So this man of God, that's why before you start ministry or do something, work on yourself. The reason why God has not answered your prayer is because you are not ready. If he gives you that thing, you become a mass destruction. If he gives you a little pile, you become a mass destruction. The reason why that husband can't come is this. You are not ready. Your character is messy. It's not until you have fixed that anger problem. You have fixed that impatient, you know, that ugly and messy character. You are not qualified for the next level. You see, so this man of God actually now, all of a sudden, he, you know, he became possessive, you know, envious, and a whole lot of things. And they've been together, gave birth. The, the son is grown as I speak to you now. This is true life story. And what happened now? So he got to a level that he, that this lady got tired. 
She got tired and she said, no, I think I need to leave. Because imagine the man of God threatening to kill the wife. Saying, I will kill you. You can't leave me. You can't divorce me. And yet you are busy sleeping with every member of the church. Prostrating this lady. I, I, is somebody capturing me real good? I'm saying this so you learn. These are noise. Noise can come from anywhere. It can come from your family. The essence and the reason of noise is actually to hinder you from getting to where God has discerned for you. Is somebody listening to me? Threatening to kill this woman. So it took several prayers and, you know, like seeking the face of God. And now they are to, you know, like now they're separated. So you need to be careful. What is that noise? That noise might be financial problem. Might be friends, might be families. You need to really look out. Be careful. Noise are real. You need to get to the level whereby you say, Father, I thank you because this noise will be silenced today. I'm telling you, before the end of tonight's service, I see noises in your life. Noises. The wrong friends, the wrong, they are going to be silenced. Some of you, the wrong people will divorce you after today. Some of you, uh, the King Goziah in your life needs to go for you to see the glory of God. Is somebody capturing me? Uh, if, if, if somebody is getting blessed, let me know, let me know. Let me see you tapping the heart and the thumbs up button. Everybody get excited. You hear to get excited. If you're getting blessed i want you to get excited and comment and say we are getting blessed everybody i want to see your comment right now i want to see you tap in the uh, the hearts and the thumbs up button noises are real i want you to know that don't get deceived by oh this person is a, is a pastor this person is a brother in church is a singer in church is this is that is that don't be fooled these things are real don't be deceived don't be deceived by anointing. Lucifer is anointed. He's the anointed cherub. So don't be deceived by the anointing. The anointing has nothing to do with it. So, someone can be anointed speaking rabba baba like this, but the character is dirty. I'm telling you, messy. Speaking in tongues like this, but messy character. And you wonder why someone is not attracting what should be attracted. These are true stuff I'm telling you about. So let your eyes be open because things are going to happen by the Spirit of God after tonight. Are you blessed tonight? I just gave you a key free of charge. I'm telling you a key free of charge. They are going to be silenced. Every noise sent from the pit of hell to destroy you. The reason why they are there is so you don't get to your place of destination. Are you listening to me? The reason why they are there is so you don't get to your place of destination. So they distract you so you don't see clearly. Is somebody capturing me? They distract you so you don't see clearly. So by the time you don't see clearly and you're thinking, depressed, how do you get to your destination? So that is why those noise needs to be silenced.